guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna make some scotch eggs. Right, we went shopping today in the supermarket and I saw some scotch eggs on the shelf. And I know by memory, last time I bought the scotch eggs, I was really, really not impressed. Um, purely because of the amount of rubbish that goes in them to make them what they are. So I thought, mm, do you know what? Let's make our own because apparently it's meant to be really, really easy. So in the time now, the baby's asleep for a nap. So I do apologize, I'm gonna try to make this very quick, but it's very, very simple. Um, so without further ado, I have some eight eggs because this is the amount I chose to. They've been hard boiled for seven minutes and they've been cold in, um, sorry, chilled in the cold water. So we now we'll need some flour for obviously coating the eggs. We need some breadcrumbs. We need some then raw eggs to coat the um, eggs and stuff before the crumbs got on the top. And we have some sausage meat. The best thing to do is to use a sausages, a proper sausages, skin them and take the sausage meat out. I've tried this before where I bought a sausage meat and it's cost about four pounds, like 250 grams. And I must tell you, it's really, really bad. So I strongly suggest buy the best sausages you can. I have an example for you of a sausage where I before assumed was a very good sausage. It's a herby sausage and yet it looks very nice. You've got some green stuff in there and it looks, yeah, that looks like a good sausage. And then I found a premium sausage and look at that, right? It's red, you can see pork, you can see a bit of the fat, like what you would do in a sausage. Please compare the color of those two sausages. And I'm not normally a bit of a sausage snob, to be fair. I never really bought a really, really cheap one. So there I'm thinking what is in the really cheap ones. But even though, um, I now know what sausage exactly I'm going to be buying from now on. Nonetheless, because I did have some of those that need using up, it goes back in there. And of course, a um, real posh sausage goes in there as well. So I minced it all out by hand. So we have sausages, eggs, flour. I've got some mustard, I've got salt and pepper, and I have some herbs. I have some parsley, I have some homegrown chives, and I have some homegrown oregano. So quickly behind the camera, I'm just gonna mush the sausages Peel the eggs and I'll see you back in a minute. Okay, so here we are. We have now here all my sausages minced together by hand. Uh, we have about 11 sausages here because we've got obviously eight eggs. I've got some fresh herbs that I chopped up as you've seen. I have a dollop of mustard. It's of course done by taste. And I have a little bit of salt and pepper. Don't forget the sausages are already um, already seasoned so you don't need a huge amount okay i have peeled our eggs don't forget when you boil your eggs don't let them sit there by themselves and cool down put them in a cold or icy water so they're easier to peel so what we're going to do now is we're going to dunk our egg into a little bit of flour okay then we're going to dunk our egg into a bit of egg already egg on egg isn't it just to roll this around a little bit it's a dirty job but you know somebody gotta do it <laughs> in there okay now we're gonna take a little bit of cling film i'm gonna take the sausage meat right that's just gonna make it easier for us because i already have one dirty hand to spread this mincemeat not mincemeat sorry sausage meat around the egg it's up to you how thick you do it. I would like to, because we're gonna have this as a main meal with a bit of salad, I'm gonna make it nice and thick. A lot of meat. Okay, so we've got egg. The whole idea is you probably don't have to put this in the egg inside, but I'm not gonna now try to, sorry, get my hand clean. Try to work this around the egg. It's not a quick job, you know, but it can be worth it, I promise you. I think we need a bit more. You can see why, right? They charge so much money for those scotch eggs in the supermarkets. I think, if you don't, if you don't know, you probably know by now, if you're not from um, United Kingdom, the scotch eggs is basically the egg in, um, <laughs> in the meat, in the sausage meat, breaded. And they are not cheap, are they? They are what? couple of quid for um like pack of six or something so anyway so there we have it as good as you're going to get this on the camera we have a lot a lot of meat 
nice egg inside so we're now going to egg it again I have to be really gentle because obviously meat is really tender and we're going to put this in the breadcrumbs if you haven't seen my video on how to make your own breadcrumbs then have a look do not buy shortboard breadcrumbs too expensive and just not worth it okay so this is our little eggies. We can do this again, right, to get a thicker coating. You might have to break another egg here. But this is quite a gigantic little bowl, to be fair. I was thinking we're gonna have four for dinner each, but this is quite a lot. <laughs> we're gonna have dinner and lunch for next, uh, for tomorrow, for next day. So there we are, look at that. This is no comparison, I promise you, to what you get in the supermarkets. And it's probably works out cheaper by the uh, what you get out of that. So here we are. This is what we have. So now let me do this to the another eight of them. And I'll see you in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, whilst I was in the process of making and breadcrumbing the eggs, as you can see, I have four eggs left out of eight. And this is because, you know, this is a live show, not a live show, but, you know, it comes as I'm filming the dinners as we're making them. My husband said he would like to have more meat on his eggs. So I decided to give him the uh, scotch egg size of an orangini. So there you have it, right? Yeah, this is the egg and you have about, of a, I would say, well, probably an inch worth of meat. So I could have saved myself uh, four eggs, but nonetheless, they're not going to go to waste because we're going to eat them anyway. Nonetheless, we have a very, 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 very giant scotch egg. So, nonetheless, there's only four, but I'm pretty sure I'll have one of those with a bit of salad and they'll fill me up. Unless the piggy there end up having all three of them. So, next thing I'm going to do, you guys could possibly put them in the oven if you wanted to. You can shallow fry them on the frying pan or you can deep fry them either in the deep fryer or in oil in the wok. So, because it's nice outside, I'm going to set up a wok outside and do a deep fry outside so it doesn't stick up my kitchen. So, let me clear this up, warm up the wok and I'll see you outside. Here we are at the barbecue outside. I've got a wok full of oil. It's technically preheated to apparently 160. So it's very hard to tell with the barbecues because depending on the weather, depending on the temperature. But I have my trusty Jamie Oliver long thongs. And we're gonna put the little gigantic eggs. Hold on actually, I'm gonna put the thing on. It spits hell of a lot. If you do guys have a big like deep fryer outside or inside, um, use that. Um, it is a bit dodgy using the um, massive things, but here we are. I can't even get my head around that, can I? Right, are we ready? Oh, look at that. We'll put all four in there. You can hear how windy it is, right? give them four minutes on each side and turn them uh, because they're giant I think we need to give them about seven minutes on each side give them a turn they're almost covered so yeah I'll have to turn them up anyway and basically just leave them there look after them and um, see them in 10 minutes okay ladies and gentlemen I think I'm gonna turn this off now it's boiling like crazy I have turned them they've got nice golden brown and I'm hoping they are done it's been about eight minutes, so technically four on each side, although they're quite deeply coated, that should be really, really well done. So, there we are. This is what the guys look like. So, what I'm going to do, I've got this plate here with, hold on, it's much more harder when you work outside. Um, get them out. Look at them. Get to put the kitchen towel underneath because I've got to see a lot of oil coming out of that. And I must say, they do weigh a ton. One of those probably is enough to feed a person, but we have piggies in our family, so this should be enough to feed just two. So, there we have it. It's going to go inside. We're going to cool them down because scotch eggs normally you have with salad. Cool them down, have some salad, and we're going to enjoy our din Thank you for watching again, and I'll see you again soon.